The joy of honest living. Pray for us, for we are confident that we have a good conscience in all things desiring to live honorably. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 18. My husband and I spent many years as missionaries in a country where people were kind and generous. While my husband worked as a pastor, my job was teaching English to high school students. During those years, there were only three schools where English was the language of instruction. Our school had always had a long student waiting list, for we could accommodate only 500 students from 1st to 12th grades. Most of my students came from rich families whose chauffeurs drove them to school in Mercedes Benzes. One day, during the class discussions, we happened to talk about the challenges of driving in that very large city. At some point in the discussion I shared, I am in the process of preparing to take a road test. I want to be able to drive here especially when my husband is away for a week or two. Teacher, just relax, said one of my students. Then he continued in a happy tone, I'll take care of it. I'll pay for your driving test fee. Just wait for a few days and you'll have your license. I thought I had not understood very well what my student had just said. Yet he confirmed, I will bring you your driver's license in a week. Well, I hasten to explain. I don't operate my life in ways that are dishonest. However, I do appreciate your kind offer, yet I cannot accept it. I thank him profusely before the discussion ended. Shortly after that episode in the class, my family and I decided to emigrate to Canada. It was in my new country that I was able to take my driving test. God was gracious enough to allow me to pass the test so that I could drive in my new country. Sometimes, we are faced with situations that seem to offer shortcuts out of or through our dilemmas. Yet, God cannot bless choices that cut corners on honesty. The writer of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 18 affirmed that he had a good conscience because he desired to live his life honorably. We can have that good conscience too when we live lives that honor God. Ophelia A. Pannon so, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and share your thoughts.